front screen should be up. Let's check here. Also, hello world, I'm Johnny Little Toe, and we are doing something completely different today. I found... And by I found, I mean I heard about this neural network thing where you can write writing prompts and get responses created by a computer. Props to the Game Grumps for uh, doing a video about this in a very <laughs> appropriate manner. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right now, just testing the stream, making sure everything's working properly. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's start some music. To... There we go. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where, where's, where's, where's the live options? I haven't done this in a while. Uh, maybe if I just go to my channel, maybe that'll help. Uh, let's not double up the music. Uh, that's for you, not for me. Okay, why? Nope, that is not what we're doing today. I need to change... Uh, <laughs> I need to change the information on here, but we are live. That's that's good. I'm going to stop that. Edit video. Edit the video. Edit the video. I forgot to put on my second screen. Oops. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, this is uh, playing with neural networks. Um, make a computer write some stories. That'll do. Uh, de -de 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 no, not made for kids at all, as you can see from the video at this very moment. All right. get a computer to write stories for me. And I have the microphone right next to my keyboard. That's probably a very annoying option for all of you. So I am going to stop doing that. I uh, found a site where I can get people to write stories based on my Writing prompt. All right, descriptions written, uh, titles up, changes are saved. I still don't know where to find my. Durker, durker, durker. Durker, durker. Oh. Okay, no, yeah, that should be okay. That's good. Chat is good. Started streaming four minutes ago. That's good. All right. Oh, let's jump into it. Uh, www. Talk to Transformer. Talk to Transformer.com. And is it recording my mouse? It's recording my mouse, even though... Oh, I need to fix that. All right, 
Um, do, 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 do. I am going to disable this. Remove. Uh, yeah, sure, remove. Yep, Start, just get rid of it. Good. And, oh, no. www.talktotransformer.com. Here we go. It's exciting. It'll be great. We're going live. Boom. Boom. All right. This is TalkToTransformer.com. Uh, as you may have learned by my ramblings previous, uh, I get to tell a computer what to write. Sort of. Kind of. It mostly does it on its own. Uh, it's, so far created some real gems and some real surprises so my personal favorite is this little writing prompt that uh, just it's it's gold it's it's fantastic uh, da -da 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 -da. how did that start all right I don't love you John screamed in frustration oh no I told you I don't love you John screamed in frustration I told you I didn't care Steven replied John could no longer resist end sentence let's see where the computer takes us <clears throat> ooh this one's taking a while Possibly because I have this written open in another window? Possibly. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> From the beginning. Oh, I'm actually going to uh, stop that. Minimize. Oh, no, hey, come on, get smaller. I need the chat. I want the chat. There we go. That's all I need. Live chat on the screen, like the professionals do, in a very classy manner. Anywho, <clears throat> let's see where this went. I told you I don't love you, John screamed in frustration. I told you I didn't care, Stephen replied. John could no longer resist. I didn't like it either. Then why didn't you do it? Stephen replied. It didn't matter to me, and I didn't want to hurt you. It matters to me. John stared back at Stephen, but his voice was shaky. It matters to you. It's like I'm in love with you. Stephen felt himself grow hot. <laughs> Doesn't actually normally go in this direction. He had done something like that? She had even liked it? I guess that could be a girl's name. Sure. It's not like that. John had take, had just taken another step towards Stephen. Well, I'm sorry, he said softly. You never apologize to... And then it ends. Some of these stories just end so abruptly it's... I really wish there was a <laughs> generate more. Let's go on to the next one. It's just, it's just, a, it's an endless mine. It just keeps on going. <clears throat> I told you I don't love you. John screamed in frustration. Oh, sorry. I didn't really scream that. Anyway, yeah, well, whatever. John screamed in frustration. I told you I didn't care. Stephen replied. John could no longer resist. He re- <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> he ripped the shirt from Stephen's body and threw it on the bed. 
He then grabbed a towel and used it to try to cover himself. What? <laughs> this is this is the wrong order of operations. He then got off the bed and started rubbing his face. <laughs> It's your fault you don't want to get any worse. <laughs> I need a pop filter. You're gonna look like you're going- You're going to- You're gonna look like you're going to cry if you don't do this. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Steven said in his own little language. <laughs> what? <clears throat> John looked at his naked but still warm self in his hand. <laughs> You've ruined the perfect body you had when you started all this. <laughs> <clears throat> it's just a body. You've been through enough already. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> Oh, boy. Um, can I... Uh, I really should have... Oh, well, whatever. I told you I didn't love you. John screamed in frustration. I really need to remember to scream that. I told you I didn't care, Stephen replied. John could no longer resist. He had to get a grip. Stephen, what do you mean you don't love me? Wait, what? No, this is... No. No. Stephen reached forward and pulled his face away from his... Oh, holy... Okay. <laughs> and looked at him with tears in his eyes. <laughs> I... 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 Just wanted you to be happy. Stephen sobbed. I don't want to be happy with you, you idiot. I don't want this to be real. John replied. It's real, Stephen cried. <laughs> and I won't do this, John shouted. I don't want to, Stephen said. You won't! Slightly mixed feelings there. Okay, let's do one more with this prompt, just because it's a good old classic, and then we'll try something new. Ugh. I told you I don't love you, screamed John screamed in frustration. I told you I don't care, Stephen replied. John could no longer resist. I want a divorce, he screamed. That's appropriate. Stephen held up his hand and touched him to calm down. And told him to calm down. You can still be our friend. You're still my best friend, he told him. But I'm not, John screamed. Stephen said nothing. Well, I'm leaving. It's that simple, John screamed. John is screaming, I guess, eh, argument. John, I have to go, Stephen said. I'll talk to you tomorrow. What about today? I want you to stay, to stay with me, John insisted. Okay, but you have to leave today and tomorrow morning, <laughs> Stephen replied. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, uh, just, okay, going off the top of my head. Uh, ooh. <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. Let's go for something scary. It creeped by the front window. E uh, sure, whatever. That's probably right. <laughs> it slid by the side entrance. I don't know how to spell. Three knocks came from the back door. She stared in fear and disgust at its at its at its um mangled form 
What do you say to that, Transformer? Hmm. I thought I had music. Yeah, there's supposed to be music. I'm not sure the music is actually coming through. All right. Well, I'll just have to spot talk more. <clears throat> All right. It creeped by the front window. It. It. It slid by. That's gonna mess things up, isn't it? Oh, oh, come on. There. It slid by the side entrance. Three knocks came from the back door. That totally sounds like a door, sure. She stared in fear and disgust at its mangled form. She stepped out of the house. Why would you do that? And... and she stepped out of the house and I followed her. Her hands were shaking as she tried to remove the bag from her pants. <laughs> Where's my baby? It's a boy! A boy, I said, standing in the doorway and pointing with my right hand. You'll be able to tell by the head. <laughs> what have I done? I'm so glad. There's a little boy inside the bag. Oh no! There's a little boy inside the bag! <laughs> there is. You won't believe this. It's a boy. <laughs> a boy, she said, her voice shaking. Please don't put your children in bags. Okay, let's try this again with... No, no more me. Let's not insert myself into the story. <clears throat> oh. It creeped by the front window. It slid by the side entrance. Three knocks came from the back door. She stared in fear and disgust at its... M disgust. Why can't I say that word? at its mangled form. Come on, she said. We don't have time to waste. As if to prove that she was right, three more men came, each carrying a small wooden crate. <laughs> they stood behind the door with their heads bowed, their clothes stained with blood. <laughs> what? We brought this for you said one of the men, pointing to the mangled remains of the mannequin. They had brought it for her. She couldn't even look at it. The men had already gone. She grabbed her coat and the small box and went out the front door. You're not quite getting this, computer. Okay, let's give it another shot. <clears throat> oh. Whew. It creeped by the front window. It slid by the side entrance. Three knocks came from the back door. She stared in fear and disgust at its mangled form. It had been a dog. She'd have called it a pit bull. Then there was something under the bed. A dead dog. Oh my god. And a dog that didn't look like a dog. A black pit bull. She'd been the last person to talk to the dog. It wasn't even hers anymore. A dog's skull with what looked like a face tattooed over it rested in a box along with a small plastic bag. What is with the boxes and the bags? Along with a small plastic bag filled with black trash bags. Where's the dog? She asked the woman. The woman shook her head. Where's the woman? She <laughs> asked again. Okay. <clears throat> One more. One more for the horror genre. Oh boy. Some of these are like surprisingly good, but this has been something special. <laughs> oh. 
It creeped by the front window. It slid by the side entrance. Three knocks came from the back door. She stared in fear and disgust at its mangled form. She pushed the door open. The man was standing there in his bathrobe, with his hands at his sides, as if he had been knocked into a stupor. He looked up, startled, and he, st and he saw her. He looked terrified. She felt like she was staring at the face of the end of the world. Her heart raced, and she had to pull her breath back. She took a step forward, and he stumbled backwards, nearly knocking the door off its hinges. What? He stumbled into the room, and the smell of rotting meat flooded her nose and throat. She tried to run to him, but his arm around her. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. That was so close, we're gonna give you another shot at this computer. Let's see what you can do. Oh, boy. Anything, chat? No? Okay, cool. Whew. It creeped by the front window. It slid by the side entrance. Three knocks came from the back door. She stared in fear and disgust at its mangled form. The man had tried to crawl into the house, but there were holes in the walls where he had been unable to get at it. Get at it? Okay. He was alive. That's what he'd told her. He'd said he'd come to help. He'd been in there for several hours. Okay. She'd never seen anyone move like that, so it was difficult to believe th that it was him. But she'd heard the man talk about it, and he had said it. And he would have gone back. He w he had wanted to help. She'd never have seen him go that far. The only thing she'd seen the... All right. That... No. No, you failed us, computer. You failed us. We're going to have to give a... Give this another shot with something different. <clears throat> hmm. Um... All right. They were a simple and happy family. One mother, one father, one sister, one brother. Um, each had their own talent, but together they, what's the term, uh, the sum became great, nope, nope, the, the, the sum The, they, they, uh, but together they were greater than the sum of their it is the sum of each. Each had their own talent, but together they were greater than the sum. Sum. I don't feel like I can write this properly. But together, they were invincible. Let's just go with that. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> they were a simple family. One mother, one father, one sister, and one brother. Each had their own talent, but together... They were invincible. This was the story of the little clan. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay, I mean, clan doesn't necessarily mean just that clan. All right. When the family's power was at its peak, the little clan ruled over the entire continent. <laughs> 
They were a family who had always been respected and admired for their strength and bravery. However, a year ago, their power had fallen off dramatically. They had lost all their territories in their region, and the entire continent was in a state of fear. Even the military fo force of the Holy Church was scared of them. It is said that they were afraid of the demons because of the puppeteer demon. When they were children, they had received the... Oh, I really want to know where this goes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that was unexpected. Let's see what happens to our family in the next universe. <clears throat> I feel like I should change that line. Yeah, I'm going to change that a little bit after this. <clears throat> they were a simple and happy family. One mother, one father, one sister, one brother. Each had their own talent, but together they were invincible. The world was theirs to win or lose. One of them must win and be a true champion, and one day they faced the most fearsome threat to their family's safety that they had ever faced. And in one final battle, it wasn't a boy. It wasn't a boy. It was a god. Now it was up to them to prove they could be more than the sum of their powers. What? Seriously? Huh. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that works. This is the story of the heroes of the day. I want to hear this story. Why did you have to stop? <laughs> Alright, okay. But together, they were more than the sum of their power. They were... More than the sum of their parts, actually. Parts? I think that's... I think that's... Yeah, that's more generic. I want to keep it relatively generic. Generic. Alright. <clears throat> Completing text. Alright, just a sec. Well, that... Okay, that's short. They were a simple and happy family. One mother, one father, one sister, one brother. Each had their own talent, but together they were more than some of their parts. He was never a bad boy. He always had time for everyone, even when he was bored, and he had plenty of friends. The end. All right. Cool. That's a failure. Okay. Uh, where's more royalty-free music? <laughs> Da, 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 da. Ooh, that would be nice, but uh, no, I don't want to get any copyright strikes. And do, 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 back to the studio, and let's just let's just find no 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 no. Yes, I am Canadian. This is uh. Here's my information. I really hope I'm not showing anything to, uh, VR heat maps, cool. Uh, there we go. Audio library. I can't be bothered to try to figure out how to make this work without, uh, that is not a genre. That is not a genre. <laughs> What's really long? Ooh, okay. Well, it's really long and won't... Uh, John F. Kennedy on... Nope. That is not going to be playing in the background. Uh, <laughs> What's really long? Preferably two digits. Two digits. Two, two, two digits. I think I keep seeing twos as sevens. A lot of four-minute long songs, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, screw it, let's just go with this, and I'll try to remember to change it out. Anyway, back to the drawing board. Generate another. <clears throat> they were... Why is it going really short now? Uh, whatever. They were a simple and happy family. One mother, one father, one sister, one brother. Each had their own talent, but together they were more than some of their parts. They knew that together they could change the world. They were the same age, the same class, the same race. <laughs> You know, 
as mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers. I guess you could interpret it in that way. Okay. There had been a time. Oh, wow. It's just like stopping really short. It does not like this prompt. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, we're just going to change this to, I don't know what's, let's go with a happy love story. Love stories are always nice. Uh, Chantel? I'm just going to say that's how you spell Chantel. I'm sure someone is spelled that way. Uh, Chantel held him in his arms, afraid for the eventual day he would disappear. John held her tightly comforting her fears. Mm. He loved her deeply and she loved him. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's make it super simple. It should surely be able to generate a great story off of this, right? Maybe not. <laughs> it's been a long time since I first saw John. He has been my husband for over 30 years. I was just a young girl, barely a- oh, come on. Are you just broken now? Is this going- this- is this scream going to end with a just busted transformer? They did everything together. They walked the halls together. They laughed and played together. They sat on the couch together and shared the same dreams. Dreams they... Eh? Huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the original one, see if it's something to do with how I'm typing or if the neural network is just really tired now. Uh, let's see. I told you I didn't love you Stan cried I told you I didn't care Jim replied Stan could no longer resist all right let's let's give this another shot if this goes with another really short one, I am going to call it for the night and maybe revisit this another time. Okay, okay. See, this is this is more like it. Okay. <clears throat> I told you I didn't love you, Stan cried. I told you I didn't care, Jim replied. Stan could no longer resist. He got up and slapped Jim in the face. Jim's face was a mess and he had a deep cut on his face. Get out of here, Stan said. I hate you, Stan. Get out, Stan yelled. Stan pushed Jim out, out of the car. Jesus. He ran over to Stan's truck. What? <laughs> Wait. Stan pushed Jim out of the car. He ran over to Stan's truck and pulled Jim out of it. Stan grabbed him by the neck and slammed him against the wall. Jim was still breathing heavily and trembling from the hit he took. Hey, you son of a bitch, Stan shouted. Stan pulled Jim out of the truck, threw him into the truck bed. And then what? We will never know. Okay, so. It just seems that there are certain writing prompts it doesn't like. Um, okay, let's try something first person. I never much cared about the universe. Uh, it never seemed to care about me.
Um, hmm. It was about a year ago when all of that changed. All right. That seems like an excellent writing prompt, if I do say so myself. Hey, and apparently it likes it. Fantastic. <clears throat> I never much cared about the universe. It never seemed to really care about me. Okay, that's gotta be, yeah. It never seemed to really care about me. Really. 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 <clears throat> It never seemed to care about me. It was about a year ago when all of that changed. For the first time, I saw the stars. I saw stars. And stars lit up the night. And I was there. And they were beautiful. I was a little scared. But I saw that the universe was there for a reason. I never once wanted to be anything else. I was there because of the universe. It had made me... It had made me to be there. All things were part of the universe, and I was part of the universe. I was always watching. It was beautiful, peaceful time. It was a beautiful, peaceful time, and for the first time in a long time I felt truly alive. I have been feeling this way ever since. I have heard some of... See, now that. A little bit weird at parts, but written by a freaking computer. <laughs> That is weirdly believable. Okay, let's try that one again. <laughs> <clears throat> I never much cared about the universe. It never seemed to really care about me. It was about a year ago when all that changed. My friend took me on a tour of a place where I'd never heard of before. The tour guide was an elderly old man with a face like an old man's. <laughs> Sorry. His name was Dr. Nokomis. I asked him about the stars, and he told me that they were made of gas, and that the universe was expanding. The tour ended with a stop at a museum that featured dozens of life-sized copies of her son? What? <laughs> that dozens of life-sized copies of our son? Where the hell is this museum? <laughs> It'd be pointless, too. You can, like, it's just, you'd be staring at a wall. A gigantic wall that goes on forever. Several of them, in fact. And what about the stars, I asked the elderly man. They're made of fire. If you are really interested, you can go visit a planetarium where things happen. All right, I'm liking this one. I, I am a fan. I am a fan. That, oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> I never cared much about the universe. It never seemed to really care about me. It was about a year ago when all of that changed. As I sit in the hospital room today, I can feel my heart beating out of my chest. I can feel the blood rushing through my legs feel every, every muscle in my face tense and flinch. It's hard to describe, really, how my life has changed over the past year. How this could be happening. How I'm being pulled into the universe's arms. And yet I can't believe it. I can't. I'm on the edge of my seat. My eyes glued to the floor, but I can't move. My eyes have been opened wide with fear. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, that's. Oh boy, there, there's a, there's a depressing story there. I'm sure. Let's move on. <clears throat> uh, let's move on to a new song. Oh, why did I change that? Um, other features. Audio library. We'll just. Oh, it opens new tab. That's why. All right, random, let's go with that. Hip hop, oh, maybe not, let's not. I don't, maybe it's good. 
I don't know. I can't hear it. Keeping me quiet in the room. I don't know why. I could just put on my headphones. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> oh, boy. I never much cared for the universe. It never seemed to really care about me. It was about a year ago when all that changed. After the last fight, I knew there would be a time when the universe felt that I had abandoned it for the sake of my own survival. You were fighting with the universe? Alright. But I hadn't left. I'd been on a mission, and I didn't need it anymore. <laughs> I had to fight back. So I went on the run. The first time I felt safe, to in, safe and loved was in prison? <laughs> Alright. My friend Dario and I went through the gates and into the tunnels of an abandoned prison. It had fallen into ruins years ago, and we'd spent the night in the old guard room. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Huh. See? That's an interesting twist. I felt safe and loved was in a prison. Interesting premise. Turns out it's an abandoned prison, and you're with someone you love. That's kind of cute. We slept soundly until we heard a loud crashing sound. We ran up the stairs to see a massive spider attacking two guards. <laughs> okay, I'd been watching for it, just... Alright, uh, moving on. I don't like spiders, but I do like how... I do like this, like, monologue aspect. Okay, okay. Hmm. Mm. It's been ten weeks since you looked at me. Just off the top of my head. Figured. See where this goes. <clears throat> it's been ten weeks. I can't. I cannot. Okay. It's been ten weeks. Ten. Wow, I'm having so much trouble with this. It's been ten weeks since you looked at me. It's been a decade. Oh God, why am I suddenly stumbling over my words? Okay. <clears throat> it's been ten weeks since you looked at me. It's been a decade since you kissed me. She took a deep breath and swallowed. The day after you broke up with me. It's been ten since ten weeks since I went home, he responded with a chuckle. And I think I know what you mean. I know after we broke up, I was still thinking about you the whole time. Okay. You've always had that way with people. She, she was smiling, but his smile was also more serious than he'd have expected. <clears throat> I don't think I can say it was always this way with you. But I have always had a thing for older women. <laughs> You've dated older women? She was blushing. <laughs> Which was a good thing, considering how hard it was to hide, hide it in her normal life. Are you sure you haven't dated a college girl? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> you started out so well. Oh, computer, you started out so well. So well. Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> oh, boy. Uh, computer is computing. All right. It's been ten weeks since you looked at me. You don't know what the difference between this and the previous decade feels like. When I look at you, I want to feel your body against mine. I want to feel your hair brushing my face. I want to feel your lips kissing mine. I want you pushing up against the wall. Uh, sure. I want to feel your mouth sliding over mine, tasting me. Oh my god, this is getting saucy. I want to feel you pushing up into me, thrusting your hips against me. I, the, well, this is getting a little, uh, sure, whatever. We're getting through this. Already crossed that line. <clears throat> I want you to feel my hand caressing your hip and back and stomach and neck and chest. I want you to feel my tongue swirling over your... Okay, moving on. 
Okay, I am... Okay. <laughs> that was fine to a point. That was fine to a point. <laughs> Children, look away. <gasps> oh. I'm not blushing. It's been ten weeks since you looked at me. That wasn't supposed to happen. But this... This is what's going to happen now. I don't want to be the person who broke you, but I won't be able to make it up to you for a long time. I will probably never be able to be like you. I can't do this. I need you to... I need to forgive... I need to forgive me. I... You need to forgive me. Okay. You need to forgive me. You need to forgive me for everything I've done. I'm sorry. Please. I know I'm re weak right now. I wish I could help you. I don't think I can, but I'm so sorry. And I want to be stronger. I want to be strong so that you won't feel so guilty about me. You can't make me feel guilty. <laughs> Where are you going with this, pal? You can't make me feel guilty. But if you can let me be happy for once, that would be the best thing in the world. So please, for me, if you don't forgive me, I... I'll keep trying. I won't leave. I... I think the the most common issue with this generator is like about halfway through it will like switch. I had one earlier where I uh I didn't save this one, but you know, it was uh I tried to make a story about an empowered woman who was finally being independent about her life. And it immediately went into her falling in love with her mother and her mother controlling her entire life. That was disappointing. <laughs> also hilarious, but disappointing. <clears throat> Alright, one more with this one. It's been ten weeks since you looked at me. I've made progress. You're a beautiful woman and I want to make you mine. It's the only way for me to prove to you that you're a woman worthy of love. I've given you the tools to be more like me? <laughs> wow. You can be... <laughs> you can be my wife. I will be yours. But you, will s but you still need to show me that you love me. We haven't been together very long, so it's time to show me you, you do. Now, before you come and sit down, I'm going to be a little rude. <laughs> All right. Begin with the rudeness, I guess. I know how good you get when you're in the mood. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you have to do as I say. You can't stop me. I am going to take your pants off. And you are going to take me... Next! <laughs> wow! I should stop this one. This one, this one is giving me things that I can't put on my channel. Um, okay, one more. Hopefully, uh, quick glance doesn't show anything bad. So, it's been ten weeks since you looked at me. I don't know if you're still in love with me, but I do know that you aren't. <laughs> okay. I know, I know you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, dude... <laughs> But I think it's better not to know. I sighed. I just want you to be happy. You and I have all these days left, and I just want you to know don't know that, don't you? I smiled at her, and she smiled back. I just wanted her to feel better, and I had to get out of the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So yeah. Let's let's. Okay. One more prompt. Um. Oh. You never know what you don't know. You never know what you don't know. The more... Oh, this is going to be a mess. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know.
uh, this is a lesson I learned many years ago. I can't imagine it's gonna like this. This is just, it makes sense, but it's a, it's a, okay, you really took this. All right. <clears throat> you never know what you don't know. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. This is a lesson I learned many years ago. In that moment, I felt an immense amount of gratitude to the many people who gave me gave me a helping hand to accomplish the task at hand. They were all very wise and wise, even when they were being so silly and stupid. But the truth is, you only find out who you really are when the going gets tough and your hands are really filthy. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. I don't believe there is a person who hasn't met someone who has done something crazy, or someone who has done something silly or selfish, or someone who has done something nice for you and then regretted doing that for you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My advice to anyone who is looking to improve to, is to stay humble and don't overthink. Th That's actually really good advice. You might be doing it wrong, but you are still learning. That's actually really good advice. Well done, computer. You never know what you don't know. I'm just going to assume that it's going to end with that, and it's actually, like, perfectly tied together. Take two. <clears throat> you never know what you don't know. The more you know, you know, the more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. This is a lesson I learned many years ago. The more I learn, the less, <laughs> the less I know. I don't see it. I see it. And what is this? There is so much there, there that is still unknown. I have to get out of my head and start being an actual detective and begin asking the right questions. The most important question is what I would have done if I had been in your shoes. How would have you reacted? I'm sure there are others, but you get the idea. I do not. All right, that I'm gonna I'm going to mark that down as a failure. You never know what you don't know. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. And this is a lesson I learned many years ago. I started bl playing golf in 1995. I didn't have a driver at the time, but I did have a ball bag, and my first ball was a 7-iron. What? No. I wasn't able to shoot it straight. <laughs> if you made a 7-iron into your golf ball, that's probably why. I made the fairway with my left hand. I made the fairway with my left hand, but the lie got very close to the flag stick and my ball started to drop. <laughs> I wasn't too worried because it was spring break and it was a hot day and I was out of a game with no sh with no shot in the hole. And I was out of a game with no shot in the hole. My buddy Steve pointed out the hole to me. And I said to him, hey man, I can hit this, just watch me. So he made some calls and went to the tee. <laughs> I hit it about 15 yards over the ball. My friend, s my friend said, you. All right, okay. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> it's, it's definitely struggling with this one but in a magnificent fashion. <laughs> you never know what you don't know. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. This is a lesson I learned many years ago. It wasn't until I had a friend who knew more than I did that I really understood that. Holy shit, that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, what can I say about you? You're handsome, intelligent, well-spoken, and intelligent too. But that's about it. <laughs> 
but that's about it. I'm just an old loser. I've been looking for someone since I was 20. That hits too close to home. So where are you now? I'm in my 40s now. I'm 30, so at least that's not true. I'm in my mid-40s. I live in New York. I work in a magazine for men, and I've written for Esquire. What does a guy like you do when you're not writing about yourself? I like to travel. I like to travel with my wife. I like to travel... I thought you were... What? I've been looking for someone since I was 20. What about your wife? I like to travel with my dog. I like to travel with my family. Wow. I guess you like to travel with them, but you're really still looking for that special someone, eh? All right. Next. <clears throat> oh. You never know what you don't know. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. This is a lesson I learned many years ago. When I was a senior in college, my dad brought a TV my dad bought a TV that had only a VCR, no VCR player, and it cost him about $400. We used it once. It didn't work. Then my dad told me, Son, there's an old TV I bought that has all the features I really need. I thought, Oh wow, Dad. Oh wow, Dad is so smart. I guess I've really learned something today. <laughs> I bought a VCR, a player, and a remote control. I installed it, watched TV, and I enjoyed it. Then I realized I forgot one thing. It wasn't on. <laughs> so I went to the store to get it. My dad had it back in the store the next morning and told me, Son, you've got to turn on a VCR. Although, if you're enjoying it anyways, um... Good for you, I guess. Okay. Oh, one more. Last one. Last one and we call it a night. Oh, boy. You never know what you don't know. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. This is a lesson I learned many years ago. This is why I wrote a book about the same thing. There's a very good book that is called The World's Only Book of Secrets by Thomas A. Edison. I very much doubt that is a real thing. In this book, he tells about his many inventions. I... Okay, just a sec. Like, this... Like, it's... It's... It's writing... Like, this, this this computer is writing based on the Book of Secrets, another secret... I mean, yeah, I've heard of the Book of Secrets. Okay, it just made that up. It just made that up. That's fantastic. <clears throat> in this book, he tells about his many inventions. One of the inventions in this book was a device called the Eureka. <laughs> which is a device that detects and measures the electrical energy that is around us. Eureka was patented in the late 19th century, and it was invented by Thomas A. Edison. He patented the, patented the first commercial model in 1873. Uh, yeah, no, that adds up. The first version of Eureka was a small iron box about 4 inches wide by 3 inches high. When the box was placed in a certain area, the electrical energy would go through it and through the earth. Uh, like, so here's where it gets weird. Because none of this is entirely unbelievable if you don't know it's being written by a computer. <laughs> uh, except for the fact that like that first sentence is completely irrelevant to any of the rest of the uh, rest of the story. Okay, let's just do one more. I'm, I'm very, I like this one. One more, one more. Okay. <clears throat> you never know what you don't know. The more you know you don't know, the more you probably know. This is a lesson I learned many years ago. The more we learn about a subject, the less we know. The more things we learn about a subject, the more we have to learn about it. 
When you are young, you think you know what's going on. But as you grow older and have children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and so on, you will learn to live with uncertainty. And that's how it will be when you're dead and gone. <laughs> The things we know about the world today, uh, we pr will probably never know about tomorrow. <laughs> what? What do you think? Advertisements. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me for this fun adventure into, uh, computers learning things. Uh... I'm I'm definitely going to come back to this. I this is this is going to be my thing for a while cuz uh yeah, totally would love to um uh do that thing with the games and the let's plays and real 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 will probably do that. We'll probably do that soon, but uh more of this is coming for sure. I love it. I I hope you do too. If not, I'm sorry. But, uh, hey, this is pretty much a dead channel anyway, so I'm gonna do what I want. That said, thank you for watching. I have been your host, Johnny Littletoe, and I will see you next time.